to access the draw profile tool we go to applications geopack road and or geopack site geopack road plans production draw profiles the draw profile dialog will activate uh, initially the dialog will be grayed out because it requires an active profile cell to be placed into the DGN before the profiles can be drawn. So click the place profile cell, add a profile cell. Here you need to specify the sta start station, the, ex the elevation of the horizontal grid line, the horizontal and vertical scales, whether there is gaps or no gaps within your chain, and the cell range, the top and bottom deltas. So we have 100. Generally, I like to put the profiles into the positive quadrant of the profile cell, so I make sure that the elevation is less than my lowest existing surface elevation. In this case, 5240. All right. Once you populated the dialog, as you move the cursor out into your DGN file, you'll find that there is a profile cell attached to the end of the cursor so it's waiting for a left click for you to data point and locate that cell basically you just find a clear place in your DGN file I'm going to open up view 2 and place the cell into view 2 for no specific reason other than uh, I'm going to activate the active chain control and place view 2 as a profile okay so that places the profile cell into the view you can close the profile cell control now and notice the dialog is activated a moment ago I spoke about the active chain control will access that now so I go to applications geopack road active chain control set the chain to active chain control to the job number and the chain All right and what this does is tells us what information it can find for the particular chain it can find a profile if you come along to these eight buttons at the end they represent the microstation eight views if you right click over one of the views you can set it to plan profile or cross section I'll set view 2 to profile click that will center the profile cell in view 2 click on view 1 will place the chain into view 1 as I move in the profile view I can see where I am in plan as I move in plan view I can see the relative location in profile view the curvilinear coordinates provides coordinate information in either view so station and offset in plan station and elevation in profile okay, so let's go back to the draw profile dialog the surfaces tab allows us to add existing surface profiles or draw existing surface profiles so go and select your tin file select the method uh, the triangle method is generally the the best representation uh, of an existing surface that way any highs and lows within that surface are, are shown or given in the profile but there are other options available the display feature how will the profile be drawn into the DGN you can go by level symbology level color weight uh, if you right click on a sample graphic you can set that uh, information via the dialog the sample graphic dialog or by current so the current microstation settings or by element where you go and select a plan view element and that'll set the symbology settings let's go back to by feature and I will select the design and computation manager feature that I've set up for existing profile center lines using that feature makes everybody's uh, profile representation look the same we have some options as far as filtering that are available uh, these filter the amount of data that comes from the tin file to remove um, data that's that's basically very close together and, and has little effect on the on the terrain surface. Uh, you can set a station range and you can set some horizontal and vertical offsets. I'll come back to the horizontal and vertical offsets. Uh, if there's an area of void within your tin file, you can set a different symbology to um, show what the where the void area is. Once the details have been populated, you add these details to the list and that immediately draws the existing service profile along that chain into your profile cell. 
If you want to store that to coordinate geometry, you select the row from the list, click the store surface to coordinate geometry, give it a name, so entry, if I could spell, E N T R Y E X for existing, click apply, and that's profile was stored successfully in Kogo. Alright, now if we go down and take a look at the offsets, the horizontal and vertical offsets allow us to create multiple existing surface profiles based around the chain, but at a horizontal and or vertical offset. So for example, if the road reserve or the right of way is 100 feet wide, we might like to go 50 feet right and draw an existing surface right profile. So that basically takes the chain, shifts it horizontally 50 feet, uh, and then cuts an existing surface profile. If we go minus 50, um, grab, say, a different design and computation manager item, click add, it takes the chain, shifts it 50 feet to the left, and cuts an existing surface profile. Additionally to that, you can add or subtract a vertical offset from that profile.